Hi there. I am going to be solving today's New York Times crossword puzzle. So this is Tuesday, October 6th, 2020, and I'm going to speak my thoughts out loud as I solve this. And if you'd like to follow along, you should see the clues toward the top of the screen in red. Okay, let's dive in. Radiator sound. Maybe a whir? Whir, maybe? Uh, what's this going to be? When Hamlet sees father, his father's ghosts, act one is my guess. Uh, one of a pair. Not sure. Um, that's, oh my god, Leon Trotsky, yes. Okay, HC is wrong. I'm gonna guess War is wrong. Uh, one's writing happy birthday, maybe. Icers, I like that clue. Really bl brings kind of a boring non-word of icers to life. Um, really, really good clue. Showing no emotion. Stoic. Okay, honor musically. Uh... Not sure. Clean with elbow grease, scrub. Gotta be scrub. All right, what's going on this one? One of a pair? I feel like that's such a vague clue. Could be a bunch of things. Radiator sound is a hiss, okay. Half, I guess. Makes sense, I suppose. Uh, honor musically. Why am I not seeing that? All right, scary landlord. Huh, so do we have like a Halloween themed? It's a little early for a Halloween themed puzzle, but interesting. All right, fright something? Pain, hurt? This is kind of, what is this, Singra? Honor musically. That's kind of strange, isn't it? One way to be led. All right, part of the foot, that could be arch or sole. One way to stand in poker. Stand pat? Grad student's mentor. Uh, professor, and I guess the grad being the abbreviation of graduate is uh, what's cluing you to the fact that professor is abbreviated. Organization defending free speech is the ACLU. Okay, good. Part of the foot was the arch. What's this one? Oh, another part of the foot, so arch on top of sole. Uh, Louise's friend, title friend in film, that's Thelma. Great, so Frightful we have. Scary Landlord, Frightful something. Oh, is it Frightful Owner? That's cute. So it's normally Rightful Owner, but we've added an F to the beginning to get Frightful Owner. Okay, so maybe we'll just be adding Fs to things, or maybe this is all Halloween puns? I don't know, but I'm excited to find out. Something tells me Scrub is wrong, because I don't like the R or the B with their crosses. Sing to, I see. Oh, uh, what's going on? That doesn't look right either, SCT. I'm just doing something weird. It's... I don't know. One way to be led astray. Scour, ah. Uh, I always think of scour meaning like to look um, doggedly for, but not to. I forget that it also means to, to scrub. Um, sing of? <laughs> I don't know why this is such a strange entry to me. Sing of? Yeah, and we are going to be adding Fs to things, it seems like. Anti-fuel extracting extraction slogan. So it's frack something, but it's going to be an actual phrase that starts with a rack. I think. Still not sure what exactly that's going to be, though. Mademoiselle, I think. Omnibus? Possible response to you take credit cards? Not sure. That's Alan Rickman. Five and dime. It may swing or revolve. Let's get some crosses. One tripled, etc. That's yada, 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 yada. One day at a time. Poet who? That's got to be Elliot. Uh, it may swing or revolve a door, indeed. Girl Scout cookie with toasted coconut Samoa. Yes. All right, possible response to, you. yes, we do. Okay, interesting fill right there. Rack and what? Rack and what? I don't know if I know this phrase that this is based on. Element extracted from kelp. Iodine? Is that right? Be interesting. Roads. Send a naughty message as sext. Uh, what's this? I want to put an I here, but I'm not sure. Sound of a hiss. Not sure about that. Maybe it's just a bunch of S's. Is that possible? Safety features for tightrope walkers. That's nets. Yeah, I want to put S's here. Like, S is a hiss. Interesting way to clue three S's. 
Yui's, okay. R rack and Ruin? I don't think I know that phrase, but I get it. Frack and Ruin is a, like as a slogan, meaning you will ruin everything if you continue fracking. Um, cute. These are, these are nice puns. I like this theme. Very simple, but um, I'm enjoying it. Heart of a computer. That's a CPU. Classified as blood. I guess it's just to type your blood. That's gotta be Kesha, yeah. Uh, USC, I guess? What greater gift than the love of a... Not sure. Oh, you told a funny is ha ha, I suppose. All right, let's go. Should I try to get 48 across without any crosses? One who freely admits not being any good. Hmm. Yeah, I can't do that. I don't know what a baby hippo is called. Cape Cod. La Scala Star is probably a diva, right? Your turn in radio lingo, that's over. Gung Ho is avid. Okay, loud noise is din. All right, imposed is levied. So far, so good. Not in operation as a Broadway theater. Not sure. A calf, I guess, is a baby hippo. Oh, I knew this was going to be an F already. FR, they all start with FR. One who freely admits not being any good. Frank, amateur. For rank amateur. Cute. Frank, amateur. These are good. Um, barely manages is ekes out. Okay. Time in history is an era. Not an operation. I don't think I know this. Brand with a lonely repairman. Don't think I know that. Okay, so this is going to be FR. What fancy feast and meow mix compete in? Frisky business. Ha, ah, funny. And it's based on risky business. What a light, easy theme. Punishment for jaywalking. Uh, fine, I suppose. Indian Prince, a Raja? What's this one though? Anju. Yes. Privy 2 is Inon. This is destined to be his mint, Pam, and Piano. Yep. We got him. President who finished third in his race for re election. Wow, that's crazy fact. Crimson Tide to fans. I don't know what Crimson Tide is. Subjects of some eerie videos are UFOs. So I guess this is Taft. Crazy fact about Taft. Bank capers or heists. Uh, novelists, I don't know. Uh, Maytag, I guess. It's looking like Amos. Shells. Game. Not seeing that. What is Shells Game? Amos and Alabama? Gas? Shells Game? Oh, I get it. Shell the Gas Company. Wow, that's actually really clever. Hard clue. Hard for a Tuesday, but it's got a lot of fair crosses. What light bulbs represent in comics? Definitely ideas. Attach a new handle to is rename. Uh, we got, I don't know what that is. That's Argo. Um, insect drawn to flames is a moth. Um, Air Force NCOs. S sergeants, is that possible? Or did I have something wrong? Manhattan neighborhood, that's Soho. And then that's SO, all right. That was a super breezy Tuesday puzzle. Uh, really not a snag for me through in that entire thing. I just kind of breezed through it. Um, I really I got the theme right away. Like I think after the first theme or no, I guess after the first one I didn't. But right when I got frack, I saw that we were adding Fs to phrases that start with R. Um, totally normal, typical add a letter type theme. It's very consistent in the fact that you take all phrases that start with R and then add an F to the beginning to get something that means something totally different and then clue it in a wacky way. Um, this is the kind of thing that you might see on a Sunday, but honestly I prefer to see it on a Tuesday because it might get old um, in the length of a Sunday puzzle, but especially on a Tuesday when I'm moving pretty quickly anyway, this didn't get old and I really enjoyed uncovering them. And I feel like uh, Rightful Owner, um, Rank Amateur, and Risky Business were all great base phrases. I am unfamiliar with a rack and ruin, but uh, I am happy to learn something new. I will look it up what it actually means. Um, yeah, and fright, frack, frank, and frisky are, are really nice uh, ways to dis like ch change the meaning of the entry. So um, really great Tuesday theme, I think, e even though simple and not, you know, original, but it doesn't have to be original. It was fun, and that's, that's more important. Not a ton of bonus long fill in this. Uh, the, the puzzle's pretty choked off. Like, Look at this, there's only one little entryway here 
into the upper section. I guess there's this small entryway here, but these kind of middle diagonal black squares going down the from the northwest to the southeast of the puzzle uh, really, really block off the whole grid. And I guess that's to try to keep it as clean as possible, but um, for that reason, we don't have that much bonus long fill. Yes, we do is kind of interesting. Um, I wouldn't want all my long fill to be like that, but it's kind of interesting to have one entry like that. Eeks out is kind of, is pretty dull. Uh, eek is, you know, total crossword ease that we see all the time and just elongating it to eeks out um, doesn't, doesn't make it any better. We also have, uh, I guess, Levied, Heists, Thelma, Astray, I mean, nothing nothing particularly um, exciting here. Sing Of, which I found pretty kind of awkward. So um, the bonus fill, I would say, uh, there, there isn't much to talk about. And on the one hand, it's a little surprising that there's not more bonus fill because it's such a basic theme. Uh, there are only four theme entries, and um, that's not a ton of theme material. Normally, constructors you know, might try to remove, say, this black square right before era to try to get a, like, a long entry there. Um, but maybe this thing proved hard to fill. One thing that is true about this is that um, 14 letter theme entries like Frightful Owner and Frisky Business, 14 letter theme entries are notoriously difficult to work with. And the reason is you normally want your first theme entry. In one of these typical puzzles where you have just like horizontal theme entries and it's the longest horizontal entries in the puzzle, um, that what you want to do is put your theme entry at the third row of the puzzle. That's kind of the most friendly way. It's going to give you the most breathing room to space out your entries, um, but also not cram it up against the top of the grid, uh, which causes issues. So if you want it at the third, um, the third slot, but you can't put a 14 letter entry at the third uh, row of puzzle, um, or you can, but it's really awkward. And the reason is, uh, imagine we put Frightful Owner up one row, then this dark square, which comes right after the R, would be where this A is, right? We'd have to have a dark square ending Frightful Owner. And then this AT would only be a two letter word, so we'd have to have dark squares all down here. All three of these would have to be dark squares if you wanted to put Frightful Owner on the third line instead of the fourth. And uh, that would just be really ugly to have three dark squares in the corner like this. And that's that's why constructors um, tend to not do that and put it in the fourth row. But um, when you put it in the fourth row, that means you have to put the symmetric theme entry in the 12th row rather than the 13th, which is what you prefer. And then all of your theme entries are kind of crammed with a uh, few rows between them, as opposed to um, more breathing room if you just separated them by one extra row. So that's that's why 14 letter entries are hard to work with and could be a possible explanation as to why we don't have as much bonus fill as we might enjoy on, in this puzzle. The clues that stood out to me were um, the clue on gas, shells game, which honestly felt like, I don't know, I would not be surprised to see this clue on a weekend puzzle. You know, this is a hard clue, and um, hard clues can exist in early puzzles. The important thing is that they're surrounded by fair crosses and um, with, with straightforward clues, which this one definitely was. So gas was not obscured from me for long, and and I enjoy having these, um, these tricky devilish clues even in the early week, as long as they're used sparingly to so as to not scare away new solvers. This section up here was a little rough with uh, roads, UEs, the triple S's, and inkses. I'm a little surprised that this is so uh, messy. I wonder if it's because they tried to force an X into this section, which would be really unfortunate because this X is not worth all this gunk. Um, maybe there's just something in here that I'm not seeing that makes this hard to fill, although it really seems like this, this section in particular should have been a little cleaner. The other clue that stood out to me was uh, the clue on icers, just because one's writing happy birthday maybe, I don't know, I, that paints a really nice picture. It's a very nice way to think about what icers do, and uh, rather than making a pun off of cake or, uh, you know, people who finish, uh, you know, baking, people who take the last step in baking, um, this just paints a full picture about, you know, what icers might actually do in their day-to-day -day job, and I thought this was pretty cool. So those were my thoughts, and I'd love to hear what your thoughts were. And I will be back here tomorrow. I make these every Monday through Thursday for the New York Times. And if you're new here and interested in seeing more of these, then clicking the red subscribe button below the video is the best way to keep in touch. And thank you so much for watching.